Good Immigration Wales and National Geographic Kids by Laura Marsh. Table contents. On the move. When animals travel from one region or habitat to another, it is called migration. Animals migrate in search of food or a mate. Migration helps animals survive on Earth. Many animals migrate. The sperm whale is one of them. Whale of a word. Migration moving from one region of habitat to another for food or a mate. Mate. Either a male or female in a pair, most animals need to mate to have babies. What animal is longer than a school bus? Has a large, just brain of any animal. It's one of the greatest divers in the world. Why? It's a sperm whale. Why did the whale cross the road? To get to the other side. To the other side. Wondrous whales. Whale of a word. Sperm whales are amazing creatures. They are the largest toothed predator on the planet. Males are larger than females. Males weigh up to 50 tons and grow up to 60 feet long. That's not just big, that's H-U-G-E, huge. How do we measure up? The sperm whale is so big, it makes an adult human look very small. There we are, tiny human. The sperm whale's head is too big, it's big too. It makes up one third of its entire body length. Its brain is as large as any animal on earth and weighs as much as 20 pounds. Weird but true, a sperm whale's brain is five and a half times heavier than the human brain. Well of a word, spermaceti, an oily, waxy material found in the heads of sperm whales. Sperm whales get their name from the waxy material in their heads. It is called spermaceti. You say it like this, spermaceti, but scientists don't really know what its purpose is. Spermaceti was used once to make cosmetics or makeup. Creams and candles. Question, what do you get when you cross an elephant with a whale? Answer, a submarine with a built-in snorkel. Uh, we know a lot about sperm whales. They weigh 50, 35, 50 tons. The length is 4, 9, 60 feet. They're about 70 years old. Tail fluke, that's the tail. Sperm powers a sperm whale up to about 23 miles from an hour. The tail fluke is about 16 feet from tip to tip. Its skin is dark gray or black or wrinkled like a prune. Its flippers help steer the whale. The head the sperm whale has a massive head and a round, dead forehead. The blowhole, used for breathing, sperm whales can hold their breath for up to 90 minutes. Big teeth. A sperm whale's lower jaw has 36 to 50 teeth. Its upper jaw is toothless. Sperm whales are carnivorous. carnivores. Weird but true, the heart of an average sperm whale weighs about 277 pounds, about as much as two adult humans. Whale of a word, carnivore, an animal that eats only meat. Need to lead. Female sperm whales travel in a family groups called pods. There are 15 to 20 females and their young in a pod. Pods are led by an older female. She guides the whale to the best feeding grounds. Males usually leave their pods when they are between 4 and 21 years old. Then they join the bachelor group for up to 50 males. The largest and old swimming males tend to swim alone. Why is being in a pod important? Sperm whales in a pod stick together as they travel. They protect and care for their sick, young, and injured. They make sure that every whale is fed. It is important protection since sperm whales migrate very long distances. Some swim enough miles for their lifetimes to circle the earth several times. They migrate according to the season. So here's a big world map. So in the fall, sperm whales migrate toward the equator to look for a mate. During the spring and summer, sperm whales swim further away from the equator in search of food. Female whales and their young stay in the tro warmer tropical and subtropical waters year-round. Males, especially large males, travel much further. 
They may swim as far north as Greenland and as far south as Antarctica. Whale of a word, equator, an imaginary line around Earth equal distance from north and south poles. What a feast. Sperm whale eat a lot, about one ton of food every day. That's 2,000 pounds. Their favorite is large, large squid from deep waters. They can eat about 700 squid in one day. Sperm whales eat, also eat octopus, fish, shark, and skate. Sometimes there's not enough food in one part of the ocean. While they search for food, whales survive on fat, called blubber. That's where the bodies, disturbed, not stored in their bodies. Blubber is a layer of fat that turns to energy to heat up the whale's body. Deep sea divers. Time to dive for dinner. Sperm whales dive deeper than, than any other whale. They can dive more than 9,000 feet. How deep? How much is 9,000 feet? It's about 1.7 miles. That's the height of about six Empire State buildings stacked on top of each other. Question, what kind of fish is useful in freezing weather? Skate. During an average dive, sperm whales hold their breath for about 45 minutes. They rest on the surface for 10 minutes. Then they dive again. They do this all day long. Mothers do the hunting for their young. Young whales need to breathe more often than adults. She, so they can't dive deep in the ocean until they're older. They wait on the surface and listen for their mothers living, diving far below them. We whales. Whales are mammals. Baby whales are born and live and drink their mother's milk for the first two years or so of their life. Young whales are called cows. Cows are born tail first and take their first breath within seconds of being born. Then they learn to swim within 30 minutes. Just like human kids, cows can be playful. They play on the surface of the water while older whales are diving. We're but two. Whales spell worms. Sperm whales don't stop growing until they are about 50 years old. Females stop growing about 30 years old. Cool things about whales. One, newborns weigh about one ton and about 13 feet long. Two, their heart rate slows during deep dives so they don't waste oxygen. Three, their teeth are 10 inches long and weigh about two pounds each. Four, a sperm whale's blowhole is S-shaped. Five, they smack their tails loudly on the sort of water surface. It is a mystery why they do this. They might be talking to other whales. Six, many whales in a pod help care for the young. Seven, their eyes are located in the far back of their heads. They can't see directly in front of, in front or in the back, only on the side. Eight, some scientists think that spermaceti may help sperm whale dive and rise to the surface. Nine, male calves stay in, in their mothers for at least four years, but females stay with their mother for a lifetime. Ten, they are mysterious because... They spend most of their time in deep ocean, a place humans can't easily go and study them. Whale talk. Sperm whales talk to each other by making clicking sounds. These sounds also may use like also are also used in echolocation. Echolocation is used by animals such as dolphins, bats, toothed whales to navigate in the dark. Whales send out sound waves that bounce off objects in the path. That sound bounces off the object and returns to the whale. From this, they can tell the size and distance of the object. Whales use echolocation for three purposes, to find their way in the deep dark ocean, to locate food, and to find their young on the surface of the water. Question, what is the loudest creature on the sea? A, wh a, wh a, wh a whale. Deadly dangers. Giant squid might be a sperm whale's favorite meal, but it's also it's whale's favorite worst enemy. Giant squid can grow up to 59 feet long and weigh more than a ton. That's as tall as a five-story building, heavier than 10 grown men. Giant squid have the largest eyes of the animal. They are 10 inches in diameter. In fact, some meetings of the squid can lead to a deadly fight. Scars shaped like suction cups on the sperm whale's body are signs of a fierce battle with the squid. Orcas sometimes attack sperm whales, too. When attacked, sperm whales form a circle to protect their sick and young whales. Then they can fight off the attacker with their huge tails. During the 1700s, 1800s, and 1900s, a large number of whales were killed by people. 
Sperm whales were hunted for their spermaceti and their oil, which were used to light lamps and make candle wax. Hunters also wanted sperm whale for their ambergris, ambergris, the material used in perfume. Kerosene later replaced whale oil as a way to light lamps. Whaling is outlawed in the 1980s. The number of sperm whales has increased. Now there are many sperm whales in our oceans, but illegal whaling still happens. Greenpeace is an organization that tries to stop the illegal killing of whales, like this one disguised as a research boat. Scientists estimate that whaling has killed one million sperm whales. Chemicals from factories and boats and other human activities are dangerous to whales in the environment. This is called pollution. It can make whales sick or even kill them. Whales are also in danger when they get stuck too close to the shore. They can get stuck on beaches in shallow water. <clears throat> Drawn to shore, scientists are not sure why whales sometimes swim toward coastlines. Possible reasons are loud noises, pollution, or unusual weather patterns. But there's good news. Organizations are working to stop oil spills and other pollutants in our oceans. People are using fewer plastic bags and may end up in the ocean and hurt sea animals. Also, researchers are discovering why whales get stranded and what can be done about it. And there's organizations like Greenpeace working to stop illegal whaling. The Sea Shepherd Conservation Society is another group that enforces whaling laws and saves whales from being killed. Weird but true, sperm whale's great size allowed it to sometimes sink early whaling ships. The best news of all is that sperm whales appear to be thriving in our oceans today. Question, what do you call a baby whale? A little squirt. So what can you do? So find out more about whales below, how to stop pollution in the oceans. The more we understand, the more we can help. And these are the groups that uh, on animals, they're joining us throughout the planet. National Geographic, just like this book, the WDF, World Wildlife Fund, International Fund for Animal Welfare, and Oceanic Research Group. Thank you for listening. That's the end. Thank you, boys and girls.